hello everyone and welcome to another youtube video uh, in today's video we are going to be creating our own custom icons into our flutter application like all those uh flutter icons that are by default uh, we are going to be creating our own custom icon so uh, what we are going to be doing is if you are going to if you are the uh, UI designer or you have something that is designing the application in your team just ask the UI designer to create an icon for you and save it as an SVG file so you have to save the file the icons as an SVG so when you save it as the icons as SVG you just head over to this URL floataricons.com when you get to this URL you just have to drag you just have to drag and drop this SVG, SVG file to the home page so you just drag when you drag you get uh, your icons over here you get the icons over here then you select you select the ones you want you can see I already select uh, the two before so when I click on select as you can see the download uh, is now one if it's click on this also the download is not it so you select uh, your icons the icons you, icons you want and that's that so after selecting it you click on download when you click on download you are it's going to download a zip file for you I already download my so uh, when you click on download it's going to generate a zip file for you uh, you when you extract the zip file you are going to get something like this when you open the file the file and the, or the folder you are going to get something like this this theory files here one folder and two files you are going to get something like this then let's go back to our code then when you get to your uh, when you get to your editor just come over here there is this font this is a ttm file then you create an asset, asset folder in your uh, flutter project files you create an access folder then you drag uh you paste this file inside your assets just like an image how you uh insert your image inside the assets folder and so on so drag this in your assets and your uh, when you drag it it's going to be here when you drag it then you come over to your post spec like you know when you drag our image here, we are going to set the image in our post spec uh .cmo file also so come over to your post spec you are going to set the font this one is a font as you can see the extension name is different so it's like a font so you are going to set the font mind you this space are, are necessary so be mindful of the space so first you set the font the family the family the font family name so uh when you open uh this when you open this you are going to get a, a a test file when you open this test file you're going to get something like this when you open this test file even if you follow this instruction uh very straightforward so when you open this text file to this font place it in your font directory and, and include the following your prospect something like this font family the family name the font family name this is the font family name my class app then we are going to set it here the font family name is my class app then the font uh, then the directory of the font the directory of the font is inside our assets and the name of the font is my app uh, my flutter app dot ttf this is this is the directory my flutter app dot ttf and that's all then uh, you copy this class this class of icon then you copy it you copy this and you create another file another dash file you can call it icons icons then paste the, uh what you just copy you paste it then you can change this class name to your own custom class name or anything all this you can change it but be mindful when you change this you need to change the font family this is the font family name uh this is the uh, class name so if you change this know that that's what you're going to be using your post pack and all those uh, stuff so basically when you uh, paste this and 
the icon is ready to be used then you run flutter pop get then you rerun the app when you rerun the app let's just create a dummy let me minimize this let me just create a dummy list a dummy list here a dummy list that is going to be uh, that we are going to display in our icons so so i just display a list view so uh a list uh, sorry list uh, then deleting let's delete there will be an icon our custom icon then the icon class name this class name my flutter app uh, copy that just uh, paste it we need to import this library this that file then click on this click on this bear import uh, icon dot that then dot uh, the name of the icons this is the name of the icon the two icons we have home are saved so if you check uh, the icons now as you can see the icon name is home the icon name is saved if you have several icons the names or the names your ui designer sets for the icons uh that's what you're going to get so these are our own this is my own icons name so okay, we already use it here then okay, let me just display text in front so type to type to the text so the text is, uh, let me just say that this is a home this is a custom custom home icon let's create for the saved also list tie list tie uh leading leading then our icon then our icon uh, no the name of our icon file my flutter my flutter app dot saved then our title to set the title to the text with our text widget this is a uh, custom saved uh, icon and that's that let's refresh our uh, home page now then we get we get these custom icons these two uh, these two custom icon icon is based on what your ui designer designed for you you can design any icon you want or just save it as an svg file uh, up uh drag it to this website and download it and use it on your app and that's all so that's all for this tutorial next tutorial we're going to learn how to use this icon with a bottom navigation a custom bottom navigation uh bar in flutter so uh thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly do so uh turn on the notification so you can receive updates whenever I upload uh, any other video. Thanks and see you in the next series. Bye.